Hey, hi. So, um, we are going to be playing some uh, Rainbow Six Siege with the controller, like I was saying. I know it's rather late. Um, I made a small mistake in the last thing that I was going to try to do. I didn't include the audio. I accidentally muted it, so it was a little mess up on my end. Um, since I kind of... I'm just gonna more or less gonna give you guys a small rundown of the controller and what it has and what you can do with it and then I'm actually gonna play two matches compared to what I did but um that being said I'm gonna do it in a um terrorist hunt type deal and I'm gonna do like a small rundown on it and um, I'll leave a description down on where I got the controller if you guys want to get it I got it from Amazon but um if you want I guess more uh, you can go to Razer on their website and you probably learn more about it but um yeah let's just go ahead and get into it all right so this controller is actually a lot different way different compared to the original obviously I would like to say it's a lot more different compared to the elite then again I've never used it um I know I think there's two technical variants of this actual controller which the one I got currently is the tournament version which this one is very minimal I think compared to the other one the regular Wolverine I would like to say would be a rival towards the Xbox one elite controller only reason why I say that is because um, it's pretty much has the same things as the elite controller I just but I don't think it has as much compared to the elite I know you can change like the d-pad and the analogs and all that stuff um, I don't know what else the other one has, but with this one, to give you, I guess, like a small summary of what this has, it has four buttons, it has two down where they would basically hold the controller at the very end, where the, the uh, rumble vibrations usually would be, and you got two up in the top that are close to the, your triggers. Um, along with that, that's all it's really got, there's really nothing major and lastly the other things I forgot to say this but the other things it has it has like these little hair trigger options um, whereas like let's see I have to do an example um, turn off or uh, take them out so whenever you take them out instead of it being like a, a button or something it switches on the, on the back so I'm gonna turn both of them out and then see if there's actual difference and I don't really think that it really is that much of a difference it's slightly a big difference but yeah so here you go let's see turned them off that's me aiming shooting all right turn them on I'm turning them on now it's both of them there you go that's pretty much it I mean it's hair trigger pretty much so that's all it really is so if you if you don't really want to have to keep clicking them in all the way, it's actually really good. I prefer them in because it's quicker for me to do it that way instead of having to pull the whole trigger down. Um, the the way the controller works on Xbox is if you're going to be using this on Xbox or PC for if anything, you can't just hook it up and then just the things automatically start working. You actually have to download an app on the Xbox called Razer Xbox Synapse. It's very, it's pretty much similar to the Synapse that you um, that you get on PC if you got if you have used a Razer thing or anything Razer. Um, it's pretty basic, pretty easy to do. Whenever you get on it, you get an option. You can make as many layouts for this controller as you want. If you want to do like stuff for shooter, for fighting, and all that stuff, you can do pretty much anything with it. Now, there's only one downfall when it comes to PC. Uh, you cannot just hook it up and then it just goes through Synapse that way. You actually have to download the same app on your computer for it to work. And I don't know how often they're gonna are they upgrade it, but I, I guess it's they it's have it just so you can make the presets and that's it. I don't know if they stay constantly updated on it, but um, so far from what I've been using this controller, it's it's fairly decent. Um, it's a lot different and compared to anything I've used in my opinion um, it's a lot smaller which I like that's a little smaller it's not as small as a PlayStation 4 controller but it's about kinda like the size of the 360 I'd like to say um, 
The other things I'd like to say about this controller is the analogs have like these little, these little bumps in it. I, I got a feeling since so it would be easier to like to kind of get a hold of, which I, it doesn't really bother me. It just kind of just, just feels like it's there. Um, the other thing I'd like to say about this controller is that the buttons are a lot different. The D-pad's different too. Instead of it being like the little cross that you would see on the original ones, it has like the little arrows up, down, whatever. And the buttons sound are clicking more instead of like like what you normally hear from a button sound. So yeah, that's all I really got for that. I do have a small preset added onto this uh, onto this controller for this game. Um, I have another one for Halo if you guys want to see that one. But uh, I figured I'd try it on PC because it'd be a better example to try against because. Uh, I figured maybe this would be a good controller to try against PC, uh, so because everyone would be using keyboard and mouse, and depending on their mouse and how good it is, it's they're going to be more responsive, or they might be more responsive than me. So that's the only reason why I decided to try it on here. But along with that, I do not have aim assist on terrorist hunts. I did that just to kind of give you guys a better example on how it plays with uh, without it. And because with it, it basically just makes it too easy. You can sit there and just do this, and it locks on. So, yeah, I'm just gonna like just run in, or actually, I can do it right here. And I'll show you. That's I didn't use like the actual aim. I used one of the buttons I have for aim, and uh. I have it like right close to the shooting so I can just quickly aim and shoot. It's, it's actually really nice to have it that way. Um, my other button on the left trigger, closer left trigger, is a focus. And what focus does is it more or less just steadies your aim for uh, whenever you're trying to get that clean shot, kind of like that. The They have another ability for this controller, it's called Agile. What Agile does is it pretty much accelerates kind of like your look and um I don't think it accelerates like your movement I, I, cause I'd be cheating but basically it just accelerates the way you look around and stuff cause uh it, it's rather nice for playing like a fast game when you're trying to get a hand like getting quick stuff done and all that but I just picked focus for this just because the way Siege is and you gotta hold corners and such um the other benefit that this controller has in my opinion I don't know if this is considered cheating but um, if you're playing like an FPS game or whatever, and this is the only reason I say I don't know if this is considered cheating is because the focus. Okay, here is a, I guess this is a better example. So this is me normal walking, and this is with the focus on. Now, granted, see you can even tell when I turn it off. So that's on, off, on, off. Now, I don't know if this is considered cheating when it comes to that standards because, I mean, you can technically still kind of, like, do that a little. Like, you can just slightly move around like this. But, uh, I guess that's the only advantage I may have against some PC players because I really don't know how they're going to have their stuff set up. I mean, everyone plays. That's what I kind of like. It's going to be a lot different because everyone plays a little different way. They have the keyboard and stuff. But, um... I'm gonna be very limited with a lot of things as well because they, you know, like I said, they can do a little bit more, and I figure that's a better challenge as well. So I'm just gonna like do a little quick run and just like show you, I guess, a little more examples of this controller. The buttons I have on the bottom, I have to like get these uh, more or less to angle my weapon. Um, the other thing. I know on PC you can pretty much just do angles like here I'll do it for example so on my mouse um, I could do this on my mouse I have it right now I can sit here and do this on my mouse the disadvantage that this controller has is it can't actually do that with this equip because of course it's a controller and it basically reacts like a regular controller would so if you guys were hopefully thinking that it might do that uh, I would have to disagree or I'm sorry if you were actually thinking it might do that but um if you don't really care about that and you're just okay to like just doing this then it's good for you but if you just rather stay stick to us like keyboard and mouse I'd just say just stay to that 
but um I guess it's just more or less a personal preference if you like this um I feel like it'll be a really good controller on Xbox um I really enjoy it I know I died and that just got pooped on but well, I'm just gonna let that play, but like I said, I really enjoy this controller. It's really nice, small, compact, doesn't hurt my hands, and it's just really nice. Um, but with that being said, I'm actually gonna put it to the test now. I'm gonna go online, and I might not talk a lot because I'm gonna be focusing, but yeah, here we go. Alright, we're here. I don't like bomb, but. I will. I kind of wish that they'd do secure the area. Secure the area I felt like it might have been a better chance because everyone's just like, it's practically team deathmatch. And I'm limited to my characters, so yeah, that's the other downfall. I hope my controller's not on, or my mic's not on, on here. I don't think it is. Need to use your drone to locate a bomb. The other thing I've kind of noticed with a uh, PC and a uh, console, I don't know why, but PC feel it might be just the fact that it's because of the way that my computer is, but it feels a lot faster playing this than it is on console. I see someone no thought so, but um, yeah, it just it feels a lot more fluent to me for some reason compared to console. I get I don't know if that's just because of the way the consoles are and the way they're set or something like that, but. Yeah, that's one thing I've noticed. Um, and I, it is a little bit hard to adjust just because it feels, just because, like I said, it feels a little more responsive. And um, I don't really know if they have aim assist even on four controllers or stuff like that for here. I know keyboards obviously can't, can't have aim assist because obviously I think they turned it off, but yeah. You must recover the diffuser. Take it. Okay, I guess I'll take it. The diffuser has been secured. someone no the pick up some EMPs disabling electronics reloading cover me target located first floor I don't want to go this way. It's a death trap. See someone. Got him. Load him back. Let's get him. 
far back as possible. I wish these guys would push up. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds left. Off four last stop standing. Hey, we got it in the last second. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think I was going to get her. I really didn't. We got to go our main man mute. Also, speaking of mute, I was looking at some like websites and stuff. Ran across a thing on Jeb's video where he found a tier list and looked at that website. And, uh... Mute was on the bottom tier. I was a little offended because I don't think Mute's that bad of a character. And, uh, I might, oh no, I was thinking of making another video on that. The area. You guys want to, like, protected. see that? I was going to basically just run Mute and that's it and see how well I can do. Basically, prove that he's not the lowest tier that he is. Because I don't think he's that low of a tier that they say he is. The bomb location has been compromised. I personally think he's pretty beneficial to the team because I mean whereas I mean I understand that um pop it back out. where are you at I've seen a drone over here oh well but um I like to say he's pretty beneficial only reason is because of the fact that like he can mute the stuff and pretty much prevents it that from coming in five seconds and counting Actually, let's do it right here. Bomb located by Op 4. I might die if I want to try something. Just in case. Jammer initiated. If they come to the entrance, then this whole idea is pretty much botched. Which I think that's where they're coming from. See if I can go around up there, get across, and get up there. Hey, let's get it. <laughs> Reload. One on four remaining.
Is there a hole I can blow up here, maybe? Yeah, I can. Okay, time to be ballsy. Please don't pop up out of nowhere. Let's do it. Got him. Eliminated. <laughs> Mission successful. We're doing pretty good so far. Then again, I'm, it's kind of a disadvantage on them. I don't know how long they've played this game, but I've been playing it since uh, since Valkyrie came out. So I kind of understand some of the maps. I just keep forgetting the, like, the call outs for it. But um, I don't really know if like they're using, well, I think they're all using keyboard and mouse. Yeah. We need to so. locate a bomb. Because that's one thing I've noticed. If you're using keyboard and mouse, it adds that like little text thing. But if you don't use keyboard and mouse, it basically takes it off. So that's how you know who's using a controller. They're not in a team. It doesn't look like it. And uh, I'm not like just hating on them. Just more or less pointing out the small disadvantages, I guess. But um, once I go over to casual, I'm probably going to have a harder time on that. Just because of the fact that there's probably people who's been on there a lot longer compared to me. Hey Legion, what are you doing? I'm gonna tag you. Oh god, I got Chonka. We're in camp 10. Oh god, can't hurt me. Can't hurt- Aww. <laughs> Ah, oh, they even hurt her. Yeah, I got her half health. Oh well. I should have hid back, but oh well. Hopefully these guys will get it. It's going pretty good, though. I like to say. See if I can maybe help him. Oh, I can't help him. Okay. That's all I can do. Oh, does she have a phone? Yeah, she can... Do it. Get it. Yeah. You got a logic bomb, my man. You should probably use it. Probably be pretty helpful for, uh... Never mind. <laughs> You just hacked the cameras. Why'd you do that? They're gonna shoot this camera. Why'd you turn it right here? Oh, it's because Ella has it. Man, if she didn't have to operate it, I would operate it right now. Basement. 
She's doing that on purpose too. I can still kind of tag if needed. One friendly operator remaining. Oh, there goes Dokebi. I see Chonko on the gun on that left. We Damn. Have been eliminated. <laughs> Got love tapped. Okay, we gotta bring it back. We can't lose this. We're doing. We we, we pretty much two owed them already. We just got. We just kind of messed up on the first. I like how people are nice on this too. Then again, I mean, it it varies with Siege. I had a feeling because you can get some bad people and get some good people. Protect Last match, I don't know if it was a misclick, but the guy was pretty much almost botched the whole match. But, um, you guys, I like them. They're pretty cool. They're pretty chill, calm, and collective. Place one there. If we can barricade those, it'd be nice. Down I don't think we can. Seconds. Hopefully, no one runs into that. Op four is located a bomb. Get ready to engage. Oh, wait, I want my mute charge. I want this one. Don't kill me. Okay. I forgot about that. Um, I gotta move. Home improvement time. Activate the jammer. Got one. <laughs>
Oh. I didn't see the guy in there. Please, you gotta get him. He's downed. I don't have any cameras either. Ah oh, man. I wish I would have known that person was behind me, but oh well. Did they get Montaigne back up? They did. You know what? I'm gonna try Gridlock out. I haven't used her. One of my friends uses her a lot, but I haven't really been interested in her, but I'm gonna give her a try. Also, if you're wondering why uh, my, all my operators are locked, except for like the hand fuel that I got, I meant to get an upgraded version of this, because I bought the standard and it was only 15 bucks. And I thought I uh, bought the upgraded, but I accidentally ended up getting the season pass instead of that. So, it's a little mess up on my end, but um, yeah. I hope we don't lose this. This will actually be good. Ooh, okay. They didn't barricade those tops. Hmm. Hide my drone. Ten seconds to go. No! No, don't shoot me! No! Five seconds before insertion. I see nothing. No! <laughs> the diffuser has been secured. You found a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Why did you take it out? He didn't. Okay. See anyone. I'm gonna go in with them because I don't want to. I don't want to end up uh, being alone and dying. Got one.
they got us good. Ah, oh, I didn't shoot fast enough. I wish our teammates would push up. You're oh my god, dude! You could have pushed with us. We're probably if we lose this, it's gonna be a little, little it's gonna be a little annoying. It's clear over there. You just if you could have pushed, could have got. Fifteen seconds remaining. All right, it's over. I'm just gonna go ahead. It's gonna be over. I can't even do anything. I tried. Oh well. I can't be mad, but it's just it's just a teeny bit annoying. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go over to casual and try that. Is this an actual match or an ongoing match? It's an actual match. Okay, cool. I don't like tower, but I'll take it. I have Echo? You know what? No, we're going to use Mute. Next round, I'll use Echo. I didn't know I had him on here. We need to protect the biohazard container. Secure the room. Oh no, this map is good, but it's just, I don't like how big it is at the same time. It's a mix of like, it's too big, but it's also like really annoying how it plays at the same time because the way it is, so much stuff is open. Here, I'll stick this here for you. There you go, you're muted. You can't do nothing now. But we gotta barricade these. Not a good idea. Protect the biohazard container at all costs. EDD mounted. Pressing the target. Door barricaded. They're shooting each other. Okay. EDD prime. Stand clear. Clean device. Ah, uh, didn't even damage him. Okay, I shouldn't have ran out. That was my fault. Op four is securing the biohazard container. That that map, that area, I don't like it because it's not really such a good area. We're gonna lose it because I mean this air, this is probably the worst spot. Protect the biohazard on your right. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's on your right. On your right. Right there. Yeah. Last operator standing. On your right. Left. Over there. Yep. Oh, he might get it. He might be MVP. Let me check the camera since I didn't take any out. See anyone? I don't even hear him. I can hear one on its right, sounds like. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I guess we got an easy. Oh, they were AFK. Wow, okay. That was an easy win. No, I don't want random.
I'm gonna try her out again. I kind of like this character though. Was he? Oh, okay, I was gonna say, if he wanted a mode, it changed. This character's not bad though, I like her. Jump. Oh god. Good work. The biohazard container has been located. We got an echo this time. And I wanted to use echo. Oh, they got a castle. Okay. Proceed to the biohazard container and I heard a frost it. as well, so I got Ella, Castle, um, Echo, Jaeger. Last oh, one's Castle, okay. Bust this open. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, why couldn't they just mm. He's gonna die. Friendly last operator standing. If he would have stayed there, we would Why are you breaking my shit? What what? Stop. <laughs> Kinda wish you would have stayed there because it would have been an advantage. Because you got a heavy, you could just throw him all down. But see how he prepares. Fifteen seconds left. Three. Resume securing the container once the threat is new. Clutch your kiss.
know what? We're gonna try him. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna run shotgun. Barricade the room. We need to protect the biohazard Started. container. Check my phone. <laughs> All I can do. My job here is done. Ten seconds left. Five seconds to insertion. Enough prancing around. Time to take them down. Op four hasn't found the biohazard container. They will attempt to locate it during the assault. Fuck, do I have to pick that one up really? I don't want to have to. I'll just relax here and let Yokai do the rest. Like a decent area. I can see behind me and around me. Don't see it. No, it's gonna shoot it. No, <laughs> it didn't attach. Fuck. Okay. Catch a little prick. Reload. See if I can get behind him with this one. Fucking him up. <laughs> Sounds like they move. Op four, last operator standing. gonna go you know no actually let's go back 
Yeah, we're gonna use Gridlock again. We're gonna try her one more time. See if we win it, hopefully. And then, yeah, that'll be the end of this video. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm low-key kind of enjoying Siege lately. More or less with my friends. I don't really play this much by myself. I'm more or less play with them. Because I'd rather have a team know what they're doing. Not, not saying these guys are bad. They're actually really good. It's just... I'd rather have people I know, pretty much. is what it is. Locate the biohazard container. Oh, they got a mozzie. Also, one thing I'll say, recording on PC is a lot easier than it is on console at times, just because I can just boot up the game and go. <laughs> Ten seconds to that's, that's the only other thing I like right now. That's why another reason why I kind of wanted to do Siege on PC is that just playing this controller on Xbox. Proceed to the biohazard container and secure it. Can we, uh, we can't wrap it. That's pretty much practically the same room we got. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to go there. Oh, wrong one. Oh my god. Stay back. We we did it. We did pretty good, I like to say. I didn't mean to get that guy killed or notified, but I saved him in time, so that's all that matters. But I like to think we did pretty good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys actually want to see more Siege, just let me know, because I'll probably play it on PC more often. But yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys later.